Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome to an Ark Survival Evolve tutorial video. Now, I'm on this menu screen because I'm going to be actually talking through how to delete your world so that you can start brand new, brand new fresh world. I did this on Xbox and for many, many months it was still confusing because lots of people were saying it wasn't working because of the cloud. But it's a lot simpler on the PlayStation to delete your world and start again. You'll know that if you die, you can create a new character. So that's good and dandy. You want to try starting out again, choose new engrams, make a new design of your character. That's easy to do. But if you want to actually start a brand new world so that none of the structures are there that you've already built, it can be difficult. It's very, very simple. Go to the settings. Go to application, save data management. Go save data in system storage and click on delete. Now this is the same for every game. If you don't know how to do this on PlayStation by now, where have you been? What have you been doing? Lots of people can delete game saves you don't want. Maybe they're clogging up your system, especially for big massive games like GTA and stuff like that. There you go. There's Art Survival Evolved. I've already got one gig of memory space. It's one of the biggest in, the, in my inventory already. Click on it. And you've got different choices. You can destroy or destroy. You should delete the island map data. You can delete your local profile. You can delete the configuration files. Or you can delete the center map data. Obviously if you've got Scorched Earth. Then Scorched Earth DLC will appear there as well. And there is Primitive Plus data to think about. Which is coming in the update you should have got last night. So I'm doing my let's play on the island at the moment. I'm not using the center map. I have run around it slightly and I put like one thatch roof down. Click on that and just simply click delete. And that is it. Once you load up Ark, you'll be asked to start a brand new character on that world and there will be no other structures that you previously built. Maybe you had lots of friends join you, although it's still a bit buggy at the moment, but that is how you create a brand new world. To be honest, it's probably not worth doing, like unless you've built something humongous or there's a problem or an issue where the game won't load up, that is probably the only reason you want to start again. If you want to just build a brand new structure or brand new base, then just go somewhere else on the island and build something. You can destroy the base, you can destroy the island. If you want to start a new character to unlock different engrams, again you don't need to destroy the whole world or, or restart the whole world. This is only if something's gone terribly wrong. Maybe you can't load into your world. Maybe it kicks you out every two seconds. On the Xbox initially in the first few months there was lots of problems with corrupt worlds. Lots of people did delete their save data. Some people really wanted a location on the base and they didn't really want to have to go and delete everything they'd previously built. So it can be used for that reason, but honestly, the maps are so big. Go and find a new location. And there you go. When you're back on the title menu screen, you can just simply click the center and load it up. And that is it, a fresh new map. It seems very simple, but I have had loads of comments and loads of messages saying, how do you delete your world? How do you restart again? That is exactly how you do it, guys. So just choose whatever map it is if you want to delete it. But honestly, I just don't see the point in doing it. Oh my God, is that a Giga? Oh my God, what is a Giga doing here? I've never seen a Giga this far south. This is meant to be like a relatively, um, you know, safe area. Holy schmoly. Okay, well, I'm not going that way. So I'm Jay Plays Games. For all the ARC tutorials you need and guides, make sure you click on my channel. Make sure you put the notifications on and you follow me on Twitter. You'll get loads of information about updates coming. Until next time, bye-bye.